I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Oh, those ships. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> Why? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Oh, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating, far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Berry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you do? You see, it would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President, I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. A recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. Well, that's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's new order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right? Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this... infiltration? Besides myself, 
Amida is the only man I know who's capable of this. All right. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. No! They're human! And how in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid. It's two on one, and these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. What's no? What's no? They ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now! Hey! I said to drop your weapons! Are you deaf? It wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now, you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man?
base? Where's that Rondi? This boy ever get tired? Shut up and jump! Ah! Oh shit! Ah! That scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh! Whoa!本部長、六本木でもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランランサーから機能停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。ええ、そのようです。グランランサーを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。本部長、お台場での画像です。ただの密
We've got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, and three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers the flood layers to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology, from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. And thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21 which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the U.S. military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. I mean, at least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Why can I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your rectitude. So, who do you fancy for your team, Sergeant? All right, you go ahead. Radio us when you reach the contact location. No problem. 
What if we run into scrapheads? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? You know, Charlie, maybe I could get to like you after all. Yo, Dano, check it out. That sweet thing there? What a dynamite bot. You're in agreement, am I right? <laughs> you know it. It's enough to knock a guy's manners all out of sync. Listen, if you can't be serious, can you drop out now? It's bad for the mission. <sighs> Scary stuff. Swarms of surveillance bots. Get mean around here. We go right through there. Look sharp. I want to keep Charlie's contact waiting. This way! Over here! The rendezvous with our contact is past this shutter. Let's get going. Must be it. This is Dan. We're at the location. Copy that. Wait for us. We'll join you there. Why do people like you always make so much noise? Bit of an occupational hazard, that is. Here to see Mifune. Tell him Charlie's here. Never heard of you? Never heard of him? Can't help you! Your, your, your order, please. <whistles> One of my regulars did a number on him. Huh. You gonna fix him? What's the point? He'll get bashed in again. Nice to know you're appreciated, huh? I don't want any trouble. Just trying to make a living here. I'll take a beer. Well, shit, pretty lady. All you had to do was ask. Uh, sushi's on the house. Thank you. So, now maybe you can tell us, where's Mifune-san? I told you. I never heard of him. Aye! Look, mate. We don't have time to piss about. Where is Mifune? He's here. What? He's watching us through this scraphead. Not bad, Yankee man. Don't blame the barkeep. He didn't know. Mifune? What the bloody hell is this? Change of plans. Head for the underground mall. I'll have someone meet you there. Unbelievable. What's your name, Yankee Man? Dan. Why? I've got my eye on you, Dan. <laughs> 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 
Sí, where's the money? Right, I've set coordinates to the objective. Let's go. Oh, uh, do me a favor and use the back door. You people don't exactly blend in around here. Thanks, brother. Base to Beetle 2. Our intel says Mifune is a smuggler, specializes in weapons and technology banned in Japan. That sounds typical. That all you got? Afraid so. Mifune isn't even his real name. All we've got to go on is his rep. Yeah, don't sweat the details, Base. Just leave it to me. You know something I don't, Gregory? Well, I don't know, Major. Do you have extensive operational experience dealing with underworld crooks? Just be careful. All of you. Base out. You're right. I'm liking this guy more and more. All right, let's go. Mifune is waiting. This way! We'll escape through the alley! Did you see that thing? A freaking spider scraphead! No one said shit about that to me, man. This mission is a bust. We should abort! All right, I'll call it. Okay, scenario time! What the hell are we supposed to do? This is HQ, come in. You all hear me? Yeah, loud and clear! That one's known as a spider. It was Never seen anyone beat a spider before. Oh, what? That thing? Uh, that was, uh, that was nothing, right? Uh, yeah. Bring it on. The bigger the better. Look, kids, you shouldn't be hanging about. We're here on business. God, it could be dangerous. Sod off. We've been waiting here for hours, and that's all the things we get? Sorry? Your business is our business, tough guy. I'm here to take you to Mifune. So follow me. She just called me tough guy. I think she did. Come on, tough guy. Watch your bloody kids. Which one of you is Charlie? So you must be Dan, the smart one. Welcome to Shibuya. I'm Yuki. Aren't you a little young to be running errands for a gangster? I'm 15! Well, don't mind her. She's just a farm girl from the paddy fields. She doesn't get out to the big city much. Screw you, Yankee dog. So this is what? Some kind of black market? Kind of. You can get anything you want down here. So I see. Including crabs. Uh, uh. So what? Doesn't the government care about all this? 
The Ministry of Homeland Affairs sends security robots down here sometimes, but they only really care about their city. As far as they're concerned, we can starve down here. Yeah, I'm guessing the feeling's mutual, huh? Don, wait! What is it? Take a look at this. This is none of our business. Let's go. That's... Yeah, a hollow child. According to the kids, he was buried under the rubble left after we took down that spider. なるほど<笑><笑> よく見るんだ。なんだ。嘘だろ。自分の立場が分かったか。このロボットやる。違う。<笑> みふねの親父に見せる。どうも。よく<笑><笑><笑> <笑>おい。何やってんだ。ハロゲキ。バカが。スクラップになっちまったじゃねえか。しょうがないじゃないですか。やめさ。<笑> Dan! Hey, Scraphead, over here! <laughs> I don't want to die. You won't. Only humans can die. What? What am I? A hollow child. That's what we call you. You've been programmed to think you're human, but you're not. <laughs>
Intervening, that was rash. The last thing we need is more attention from the cops and Yakuza. Maybe. But it makes me wonder. What? How many more hollow children are walking among us? Come on. Mifune's waiting for us. Right. Hey, Yuki. You here for Mifune? Yep. Got some people he wants to meet. Ah, strange looking group. Okay. Doors opening. Hey, Mifune. Found them for you. Welcome to Shibuya, my friends. I apologize for the sudden change in plans. Yankee, English, Chinese. You must be a Rus crew. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. I'm in my six. Ah! <laughs> like James Bond. Who? An old movie guy. Sounds like Mr. Mifune here is into the classics. Right. Well, I didn't come here to chat. That's five million. That's a deposit. You get the rest when we're done. I hope you're not expecting a receipt. Why, Mifune? That would imply that I don't trust you. <laughs> come on, then. We haven't got all day. What's the safest way into the upper city? <sighs> You have Japanese ID. No ID. No documents. No evidence we were ever here, you dig? Then... There is no safe way in. Okay. Then what's the least dangerous way in? <laughs> well... That's a different question. The subway station under this building closed when old Tokyo flooded. But when they built the upper city's drainage system, they followed the same line. All you have to do is follow it. What? Are we supposed to swim up there? Of course not, MI6 man. That's what the jet skis are for. Oh. Well, that's all right then. Which I will sell you for five million apiece. Five million?! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> you know, you're not the only one who likes old movies. You're just an old-school Yakuza crook, aren't you? It's how I do business. You shouldn't waste time. Your French contact is waiting for you. And you can have that information for free. Oh, well, you're too generous, Mifune. It's a fault I have to live with. Yuki, show them to the subway. Safe journey. <laughs> Jumped up prick. Really had a laugh back there, didn't he? Stiff up a lip, old boy, pip pip. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I thought you said they didn't bother you. Normally, they don't. It's us. 
And they know we're here. Okay. Is there any way to the subway without going through the market? No. Then we'll just have to fight our way through. Two teams. One watching the rear guard. Everybody ready? How you like that? Ha ha! Try moving now, bitch! <laughs> the bigger they are, the more we shoot them up! I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Not bad. Get the lead out! This is this way or nothing. Everybody still standing? So how do we get past these doors? Oh, we ram them? There's no need for that. Rachel. in the hole. Oh, shit! <laughs> I hate when she does that. <laughs> we can still get to the upper city through here. Ready? Should be an elevator to get us up. Should be, man. I hope it ain't stairs. Trust me, it's there. All right, everybody stay alert. We rendezvous there. Got it? Sure. We get moving. See you there. Man, we really got to go through this? Smells like shit. Must be the elevator. Gotta say, I was expecting more security. Yeah. Maybe we owe Mifune one. Like he'd lift a finger if he didn't have to. This is Charlie! We've engaged the enemy and they have us pinned down! Copy, what's your 20? Some kind of sewage plot! There are rows of large columns! I'm on my way! Hurry! They just keep coming! You go on ahead. I'm going back for the others. Are you crazy? We gotta keep moving! Look, you're the advance team now! Just go! Okay, let's get moving. I really want to get out of here.
just that noise. It's coming from there. Brace yourselves. Fall back and wait for the elevator! It's coming! Just hold them on! Excellent! Far better than I expected. Amazing! I'm shocked, really. Inside! We're in! Come on! Hurry up! Charlie, get out of the way! Never surrender! Somebody, help! Christ, this is not good. Too close! You could have been killed! Relax. I made it, didn't I? <laughs> didn't you call me the crazy one. Don't panic, folks. We're here just inspecting the emergency escape route. All okay? Uh, yes. Sure, everything checks out. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Back in my school days, I used to sit out on cafe terraces like this with a good book and read all day. How about you, Dan? You like to read? Save for how to shoot a man in the eye from a hundred paces, everything useful I ever learnt came from a book. 
First item on the agenda once this mission's over. Get back to my studies. Man, getting here was a major pain in the ass. Just look at them, drinking their tea in their goddamn lap of luxury. It really pisses me off. Yo, Dan, how about we let off a shot? Probably scare them shitless. <laughs> you actually would, I bet. Tempting. But I say we keep a low profile for now. Forget it, Sergeant. I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, sir. I'm afraid you cannot remain here clothed in that manner. And the French unit should be here soon. We'll wait here. Or do you think we should get moving? Thought you'd say that. Hmm? Do you hear that? The hell just happened? I'm not sure. The French? Mifa and I said they were waiting for us here. I guess that's them right now. Christ, am I the only one who understands the word covert? Is on me. Hurry, get in! Come, come, hurry, hurry! So, you must be Jean. What the hell did you do to get the cops up to you? A minor complication, but our rendezvous was still a success. For a certain value of success, sure. Kane! We oui, miss you. You let a scraphead drive? And you call him Kane? I am a combat model, mademoiselle. Line number CN7. Kane is, how you say, the little joke. Uh, less chatter, the police are gaining! Increasing speed! <laughs> the Japanese police never give up, do they? I'm impressed. Send your seatbelt, s'il vous plaît. He's got a screw loose. Are you sure about this? Uh, uh, Kane, is it? Oh, I fight! I fight! You can look now. We made it. Chance of collision was only 62%. Only. We should have walked. Surrounding us! What will we do? Hold on, monsieur! 
運転できるって聞いていたがすみませんここまで際どい運転には慣れていないものでなら早くなれろこんまだまだ序の口だ例のお台場のやつらと同じ連中ですかねまあ堤防から侵入してグランランサーを破壊した連中だおまけに渋谷ではスパイダーを倒してる一体何者ですかいやどうせどっから国の工作員だろうだが危険な敵には違いない移動放題のチームを回して奴らの進路を塞がせろハサミ打ちだ了解ですあっ。
I get it. Save the girl, right? She is much prettier than you, monsieur. <laughs> oh, real smooth. <laughs> Folks, we're not here for you, and no one's going to get hurt. Why does nobody ever believe me when I say that? If they stop the train remotely, we'll be sitting ducks. We have to override the drive controls and keep it moving. Get to the front car. We have company. Hey, are you trying you to friend, kill me? Not the fool. Hold on, I'll be right there. Coming. They followed us from the roof. One of you go and secure the drive system. I'll stay here and hold them off. Go, go! On my way. There is another outside! Coming for us, monsieur! Shoot it down before it boards the train! So, you work for Mifune? No, I work with him. We have very different philosophies, but we share certain goals. We both ate scrap heads. Yes. And those scum at the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. I'm Shindo. Dan. And that's Faye and Kane. Mifune tells me you're a rust crew. Hey, you shouldn't pay attention to idle gossip. So what about you? Oh, we have many names. The Ministry calls us a terrorist. We prefer freedom fighters. Well, whatever. We owe you one. Sorry we couldn't help you sooner, but Sergeant Crow is like a bloodhound. Once he's on your trail, you have a hard time shaking him off. Kurosawa, he's a cop? 
Cops that's following you. Yes. He works for the New Order. Ah. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not big fans of theirs, either. <clears throat> the New Order. It's more like prehistoric. They're running this country into the ground. Turning us back to a peasant society. It's like the last 300 years never happened. And you're going to stop that. Hey, we may not look like much, but helping you guys is a big payday for us. Things are gonna change. And what about Amida? You got a beef with him too? Of course! They're in bed with a new order. Practically joint at the hip, those <laughs> son of a... Shit! Follow me! Dropping back to support. Lead the way, Dan. I'm counting on you. Aren't you going? You scared now? Getting out? Go already! The road is to go ahead, monsieur! What? You're not going now? Fine! All right, go. Let me know when you have a rendezvous location. Go to that. Cover us! Maintain heavy fire! We can't let them pass! Be right there. What the hell? Get this door open. I didn't close it, it shut tight. Ah, shit. We'll get it open. We got scrap heads in here and we're moving ahead. Is that wise, monsieur? Trust me, we'll figure it out. They'll destroy evidence of their Geneva Code violation and fortify their defenses. Should that happen, our mission is a failure. Amada will not be so careless twice. Exactly. And they'll keep pumping out hollow children. Mankind will be overrun by those creepy robots. Nobody will know who's who. First, we should rejoin Charlie's squad. 
We can talk then. That was quick. We only just got ourselves. Well, timing is everything. So, how about this tightrope? Is this a good time to mention that I don't like heights? A little late for that, my man. A little late. Well, it is time for us to get across the other building. Kane, you're up. Come on, you seriously have a wire gun hidden somewhere in there? Stand clear, s'il vous plaît. To admit, we'd be stuck without him. Shoujo Bu からのデータってこれだけですか？これでも多い方さ。もともと対外情報を渡したがらない連中だからな。人間にそっくりなロボットって本当ですかね。二十一条完全に無視してますよこれ。本当の話だ。しかも誰もがアメリカ製だと思ったが、ベルゲン社は一切の関与を否定した。そりゃ否定しますよ。もうの。だがその後東京に奴らが現れた。情報部によれば奴らは米軍ではない。武器から察するにおそらくラストクルーだろう。ラストクルー？ってことは。やつらは天田社に疑いをかけてる。まさか天田社に限ってそんなことは。俺といかがわしい大企業のどっちを信用するんだ。なんだあれ。All right, he got nothing. Cover me! You got it. Go!
I ever tell you I hate thrill rides? Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last time I listen to HQ! Isn't this over yet? The day just sucks! Whoa! Too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! That don't look good. Jump for it! Hey! Are you alright? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> Yo, Dan! Hi! So this is the Resistance HQ was talking about. Dan! Of all the shit to stumble into! Man, this ain't fair! We ain't part of no Resistance! Yeah, well, maybe they're flushing out illegal aliens, too! Enemy transport! <laughs> they just keep coming and coming. Assholes could at least bring a six pack with them. That shit. Ain't nothing able to bring you down. Revel in it, man. You earned it. Come on, bro. Let's do this.
Better watch out for an enemy ambush. Sniper! Take cover! Look! A sniper rifle! Use it! Return fire! Will you listen to me? I'll act as a decoy while you take those snipers out. I'll act as a decoy while you take those snipers out. Counting on you. Take out those snipers. Here goes nothing. Sniper at 12 o'clock. Yeah, damn it! What are you nuts? Damn it, man! Danny boy, a freaking star, man! to this. <laughs> 